what's up guys we're here welcome back to the channel so today is tuesday the 28th we should have a patch update today so i figured i'd bring you this video on how to efficiently grind the pit in diablo 4 because i know that everybody wants to level up their gear and get it to level 8 or even level 12 but may not know the best methods on how to get there and do it at least efficiently today's video is going to be all about doing this efficiently this is going to be similar to how we discussed greater rifts in diablo 3 and how to efficiently farm these levels to maximize your return or your rewards to that way you're you're able to level up your gear in the fastest way this video for the pit is no way shape or form however about pushing so this is not about clearing high levels this is not about taking 10 minutes in a 15 minute run to clear the a pit level this is how to efficiently farm these to maximize your return so let's get into it as you guys all know the pit is our brand new end game system and we're using the pit to farm up these three resources the the uh, the obducites the ingolus and the nethron uh these three are the uh resources that you need to level up your gear from ranks one to four you need the obducite from five to eight or yeah five to eight you need the ingolus and then from eight to twelve you need the nethron so how do we get these and what tiers do we get these from so you get the obducite anywhere up to rank tier 30. so doing ranks 1 to 30 will get you the obducite ranks 31 until i believe it's 61 yep so ranks 31 to 60 you get the ingolith and then 61 plus it doesn't matter if you're doing a tier 100 200 150 120 you will get nethron now what is the most efficient way and how do these actually tick up okay so the way that you actually get a lot of these resources is kind of interesting so i've decided to make a little spreadsheet and do some of the work for you guys just to kind of help in this scenario so real quick it is going to be a hundred blues so a hundred obviously to take one piece of gear from level zero to four masterwork that's roughly going to cost you 750 gold <clears throat> now the gold is going to be adjusted slightly with the patch today next is 260 ingolus or yellows to go from four to eight and then it's 550 nethron to go from eight to 12. now the gold cost is going to change significantly for nethron that's where, where the last four levels of mass working which is why you know i put question marks here because they're reducing like one of them by 10 million so i don't have an exact number for you right now until we get the new patch but it is significantly less so just know that so knowing these numbers, we can kind of try to figure out <clears throat> which tiers are going to be best to run um, and which ones would be the most efficient um, for any single class that you're playing, right? So any single class. I've decided to make this little resource here and a strat for efficiently pit farming. So I really hope that this does help you guys out. So for blues, the best one because it takes a hundred blues or a hundred obducites to level up one piece of gear if you do tier 25 and all of these are going to be sub three minutes which is why we talk about being efficient in the pit if you can complete it in sub three minutes or even four minutes if you're a little bit slower um that is perfectly fine if you're doing anything in sub two minutes you're blasting congratulations you are a god gamer so for blues tier 25 sub three minutes you're going to get 34 obducites, okay? So you only need to do three runs at tier 25 to be able to level up one piece of gear. That is very, very quick, right? doesn't cost you anything, right? For yellows, 260. Tier 55 is the prime spot. The prime spot, sub three minutes, you get 44. It's going to take you six runs and then you'll have over 260 to be able to level up one piece of gear. Next for legendaries, T <clears throat> excuse me. T80, I'll explain why I have it split here in a second. T80 is the optimal optimal pit tier that you need to to farm these. So in tier 80, you're going to get 40 legendaries or nethrons per run. It's only going to take you 14 runs. To level up one piece of gear from eight to twelve now all these numbers i've done like some very good like 
testing and trying to figure out what is the best way to efficiently farm across all classes okay so this is optimal now before we get into the split i think these are pretty like these are pretty solid across the board the way that you level up in the pit is is quite unique because when you go up a tier it only goes up one <clears throat> And then there's jumps, right? Then there's jumps, like, for example, when you're going in the earlier tiers, before you get to tier 25, like, you're getting, like, one, and then it jumps up to, like, 25. You get 25 even. And then after 25, it's 25 as a, as a clump, and then it's one, 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 and then, a, and then another clump, right? So I think, <clears throat> I think these levels are very efficient and will work for any single class in the game. However... This is a disclaimer before we get into the second part of this. If you can farm T100s, T90s, do whatever in like three to four minutes, go for it. Perfect. You found an optimal strategy. I think that these numbers are just best for all classes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now let's talk about the tier 66 that we have selected here and why I had this as a split. <clears throat> Um, and the reason that I don't have it for either one of these tiers. One, you're not going to be able to do it for blue, but you can do it for yellows or ingoliths, is that we can craft the higher tier into the two lower tiers. So what that means is if we come back over here, right, we leave this, we're going to go over to the herbologist or the alchemist. Um, let's go ahead and get this to boom. Uh, we're going to come over to the transmutation tab. We're going to come down to crafting materials. And you have all of these caches here. So as you can see, to create obducites, it will take five ingolus to make 15. Every single time that you're doing this transmutation and using one material to another, it's always three times. So five to 15, five to 15, 25 to 75, 25 to 75, 100 to 300, 100 to 300. So I think this is a very good strategy because as you're farming the higher tiers or even the mid tiers of Inglith, you can trade these for more obducites and just level up a bunch of gear that's on a brand new character that you just got or new gear that you just found to make your character better. So the reason that we have 66 as a prime tier here is because at tier 66, you get 25 um, Neathrons, which is the legendary ones. Now, if you were to just do tier 66, it would take you 22 runs to level up one legendary to 12 from eight. That's cool. However, if you're doing T66, you get 25 per. All you need to do is run that four times. You run it four times and you can trade 100 Neathron for, <clears throat> excuse me, 300 Ingoliths. And remember, it only takes us 260 to level one piece of gear from uh, four to eight. So you can do four tier 66 runs and level up one piece of gear to from four to eight, and you still have 40 um, Inglith left over. And that'll stack up over time. So that's why I have 66 as like the optimal one. Now, if you again, if you're able to farm higher tiers, definitely do that. It makes the, the numbers even better. But that's just so good it's insane like you just trade these away and then you're good to go same thing here a hundred ingolith to get 300 obducite which is three pieces of gear from level zero to four so to get a hundred if you were to still do tier 55 you'd only have to do three yellows or tier 55s to be able to make three blues like to do three gear pieces to level four which is still good because tier 55 is is so optimal it's insane now again if you want to really break down the numbers if you did three tier 66s that would give you 300 yellows which in turn would make you what nine blues because <clears throat> every 100 is 300 so that would give you be able to level up nine pieces of gear to level four so if you're just trading down it's kind of insane how awesome that is with these caches um it's now the, the money is very cheap which is good this used to be insanely higher but it's better now but yeah, guys, I have been just like crunching the numbers and I really wanted to kind of bring this to people because I get asked this a lot in my stream um, over here on YouTube, split stream to, to Twitch on like how, like what, what should I be pushing? Because I get a lot of people talking about like, hey, hey, I pushed to this tier and that's great because the pit should be used for pushing. 
But people are at a point now, I think, in the season where they're trying to level up a lot of pieces of gear. I mean, this is my Rogue, and we went from level 1 to 100 yesterday in 6 hours on Rogue. So now I need to level up all this gear, and I have all these resources. So I'm going to be able to put everything probably to level 8 if I wanted to. So this is just like a guide to help you guys really just farm efficiently and maximize your time in the pit. Because we all know that getting these resources, it's very costly gold is always an issue right now and it doesn't cost anything to master work like even if you come over here like master working your gear like it costs it costs like not a lot of resources to uh, in the in this regard but the gold like the gold cost is nuts i mean 750k to four 2.5 million to eight so right now you're already at 3.25 million or 3.3 million and then how much is it to level 12. you know and that's 3.3 million per item right just a level eight so gold goes quickly so i wanted to be able to make sure that you guys are able to have a lot of these resources so when you do have gold it just makes leveling your gear so much better and not only that and this is the most important part is resetting so if you guys don't know you can come in here your masterwork like hey oh man i don't want i don't want double resource crits on my shako so i want to reset this from eight to zero it's going to cost me 5 million gold in these resources, which 5 million gold, that is for any item from any rank. So if you have it at rank 1, rank 2, or rank 12, it's always going to be the same. So if I wanted to reset this, all right, I don't want resource gen. I want to re-roll this and try to get something else. So the purpose is, I'll just do this again just to show you. Show you. We'll reset Shaco. Like, all right, I don't want resource gen. Now let's level it up. Cost me 5 million. Boom, we're level 4. Oh, I got cooldown even better now let's try to go up to tier uh tier eight because cooldown is awesome we got all stats so this is cool i don't mind that that's fine so being able to reset your gear that's costly for these resources so i want you to farm them efficiently guys so yeah this is my pick guide on how to efficiently farm not push those resources and gain that stuff for season four hopefully with some updates in the patch and maybe this will change slightly but I think overall this is pretty solid for what you guys are trying to do in the game so yeah guys like the video let's try to get this over uh, 50 to 100 likes that'd be awesome or over 100 likes would be insane comment down below let me know what you guys think of the pit and let me know if you guys have a different strategy like maybe there's something i overlooked in here to how to efficiently farm let me know down in the comments don't forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace